Shadrach Meti. All right, uh, from Kupet to the Kenya National Union of Teachers. We are now joined on phone by the Secretary General of the Kenya National Union of Teachers, Collins Oyu, who is on his way to Nairobi from a meeting in Nakuru. And good to speak to you this evening, SG. And uh, my first question tonight has not failed the teachers because the parliament passed an indictment against not when they met the representative so has not failed the teachers not has never failed teachers and shall never fail teachers that is the position of the kenya national you know, teachers because we are there for to advocate for better terms and conditions of service for teachers in this republic and that is exactly what we are doing so where does Parliament get this notion that you've not been working for the teachers? I know there's been very turbulent times uh, preceding you as the Secretary General, but where does this notion, listening to the way they were speaking to the representatives in Parliament, where does this notion come from, SG? I'm aware that uh, there was a petition in Parliament uh, sent by a few head teachers who are promoted to headship from Job Group M, and they were taken to C5 instead of D1 that was done to their counterpart who actually were promoted immediately after the CBA 2017-2021. The notion about uh, this head going to D1 was that the job evaluation during the time of the CBA okay. covered them. These ones who are in job group M, um, like those who went to uh, D1, were not head teachers by then. This was explained by Teacher Service Commission. Where we found the Teacher Service Commission is that even though these heads were taken to C5 after their promotion, they were not given the salaries required for C5. They remained with their salaries in, uh, in uh, job group M. That has been the issue. We have worked on this. We wrote to Teacher Service Commission. What came out yesterday is that I think what was presented by my colleague is not what the parliamentary committee expected. You yeah. know, when you say teachers have been failed by, NAT has failed teachers, I fail to understand. NAT operates in several structures, and the structures of the union are right from the NAT headquarters. The National Theory, National Executive Council, the regional councils, the county councils, the branch executive committees in various branches, and uh, even right to the grassroots in schools where we have elected school representatives. All these cadres have been serving teachers all around. So when you say not as failed teacher, I really fail to understand when all our systems mm -hmm. are working. Okay. Yes. So perhaps then the, the right question to ask after that elaborate explanation, uh, SG, is then yesterday the representatives who went to parliament, don't you think then they did a disservice in uh, trying to represent the actual position to members of parliament because that's where the conclusion came from? You know, there was a bit of mix-up. If you looked at uh, those questions, and I really wondered uh, why one could come up with... Uh, a result to the extent of saying that uh, not as fail teachers because there was a question that uh, could be answered based on the 2017-2021 CBA which of course drove the idea of the career progression guidelines this is what caused the stagnation of teachers in in grades all through and uh, the other question was about signing a CBA that was non-monetary. Can I be told 
which public sector union signed a monetary CBA in 2021, 2025 CBA? There was none. Mm -hmm. There was none, literally. Even my counterparts in Kupet, we together signed this CBA that was non monetary. And the reasons were derived from the COVID-19 uh, issues. And we agreed, can we actually sit and review? Because the review clause is very clear in the CBA. Okay. And look at what we did last week, I mean last month, the addendum of the CBA, which was of course monetary. placed something little on the table that exactly. was monetary. Okay. The other issues that are contained in the condemned CPG are issues that we've written to the CSE and we're soon having a meeting of a total review of the CPG, the okay. Career Progression Guidelines. Okay. Yes. I'm running out of time, but I need to ask you this one question because yes, you are blamed, uh, SG, for failing for the first time to sign a CBA that had a monetary component as 30 seconds that you have, do you regret that move not to sign it? Because I know not so many of them signed, but do you regret that move of not signing a monetary CBA back then? I don't regret the move of signing a non-monetary CBA because there was literally nothing. And uh, there is a provision in the clause of, you know, review of the same CBA. And that is what we did. Okay. The CBA, allowed, the CBA that we signed allowed us to bring teachers who are denied promotions because of the of the other SOS. Mm -hmm. This is this is uh, the CPG versus SOS. Are we there? Okay. And we brought all teachers together and every other teacher benefited after we signed this CBA. Okay. And they benefited in area. Those who are condemned for being union officials and being members of the union. Were paid, so were paid in areas. Yes. Yes, yes. They were paid in areas. Okay. Great speaking to you tonight. Looking forward to having a one-on-one -on -one with you once you're back in Nairobi. Thank you so much, Secretary General. And Kenya I National. want that one as soon as yesterday because I must put to clarity yes. this wrong notion about teachers, I mean, uh, Kenya National New York teachers are uh, not doing well for teachers in this republic. Definitely. It's not true. Definitely will call you for a sit down. Colin, so you thank you very much. Speaking to us on phone on his way from Nakuru to Nairobi. And uh, have a safe travel. Thanks for speaking to us. And in business news tonight, China Trade Week makes a return.